Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Ah, Oz Comic Con Brisbane day one is over and as you can see I went as Anastasia as always and this is her blue pajamas that she wears during the nightmare scene on the boat to Paris. So of course I have my Together in Paris necklace, I've got my bow, my wig and I'm wearing like men's pajamas. I actually did do a video on how I put this together and how cheap this was so I will put a link up above. But basically day one for me I don't really take too many photos. Again, no one really knows who I am. I did see some amazing cosplays though. There was a huge Disney princess group and they were, I think they were all in blue skirts and they had a white shirt on. Each of them had their Disney princess name on it and they were just, it looked awesome. And they had like their signature wigs and Mickey ears. They knew who I was. Um, there were a few other cosplayers who recognized me as Anastasia, which was really, really good. But again, a lot of people didn't really know who I was. There are some young girls there that said I was Ariel in her pink PJs and I was like but I'm not in my pink PJs, I'm in blue PJs. Um, and they were really confused and then I was really confused. But yeah, not much really happened on day one. As I said, no one really knows who I am. But that's fine because day one is mostly all about shopping and that is what this video is about. I have a mini-ish haul um, from Oz Comic Con Brisbane, so if you want to see what I bought, then please keep on watching. Okay, so the first thing I've got is another eater bag. I was going to say another pink eater bag, but this is my first pink eater bag. And this is from Pastel Pixie. And I'm very excited for this because I'm going to be putting uh, Disney princess and just Disney related pins onto this bag uh, to make it really, really pretty. So I'll have this one, I'll have my black one, which is all my mooncake sort of things. I will eventually do a Loki slash Tom Hiddleston one and possibly a Pusheen one as well. But yes, I bought this. This was $35. So cute. I love how this is like a very thick plastic and it's covered in sparkles. Um, and yeah, I'm really excited to kind of put something behind here, maybe cover it in Disney princess fabric and then stick some pins and brooches onto it. Um, but yeah, so I bought this and I love it. Another one that I got so cute. I cannot tell you where I got this from. They didn't include a card. I just know that the guy that sold it to me was like a little bit rude. It is the teeniest, tiniest Pusheen I have ever seen. And she has a giant slice of pizza and she's nomming on this pizza. And it is a little keychain. So I'm really, really keen to probably put this on my keys. Or maybe when I do my Pusheen eat a bag, I can attach it to that. Um, but yeah, so I got this because I had to get something Pusheen related. And this was super, super cute. This was $10. All right, the next few things I got from Hungry Designs. So this is their business card, which I have upside down. <laughs> but that is their business card. And it's super cute. It's Alice. And she's in a little bottle. And it says, drink me. And then on the back is all of their details so i definitely suggest going and checking out hungry designs they they have their own website they're also on twitter instagram and facebook and they had a few brooches there and some really cute hair bows so i had to get them so first i will show you the hair bow because this one i just love so the hair bow is the rose from beauty and the beast in the little glass jar and it's on this really cute really soft yellow bow and it's kind of got netting over the yellow bow and that's what the pink and white dots are um, on and yeah it's gonna be so cute just kind of putting it into my hair um, or even on this side and I'm really really excited for this so I don't think they've done bows before but I could be mistaken but I just saw this, I had to get it. It was so hard to choose out of all their bows. They had some like Aristocat ones. They had a flounder one, which was really cute. A few Disney princesses, but this one just really spoke to me, even though I'm not a huge Beauty and the Beast fan. I just thought this was beautiful. And then I got a whole bunch of brooches. Um, the first one is Aurora and she's wearing the little owl as like a hat. And like, she's beautiful. Like, look at that so gorgeous hungry designs 
um, is amazing. She's an illustrator and she um, creates wearable art and her name is Amanda Whitelaw. Um, but yeah, Hungry Designs has been at cons for so long. The next one that I got is the shell that Ursula uses to steal Ariel's voice. And as you can see, it is gorgeous, absolutely amazing, so sparkly. And this is a new one, so I'm very excited to have gotten this. Thornley and I then did like a few more rounds of the con floor. We had some food and then we went back to Hungry Designs. Um, I just had to get some more. So the next one that I got is one of Cinderella's Bluebirds. So cute. And these will all go on my pink eater bag because it's going to be completely Disney related. I got another card, a business card from them. This one is Ariel and she's sitting in a whole bunch of teacups. I also got another Ariel themed design and it is the scroll um, that she signs with Ursula to sign over her voice for human legs. And then I also got the poisoned apple from Snow White because it's gorgeous and beautiful. And I'm really excited to check out Hungry Designs website, which is just hungrydesigns.com there under the little pink love heart so I can get a whole bunch more of these brooches for my eat bag. But yeah, so I love those so much. Okay, and the very last one I'm very excited about, Andrew got this for me as a gift. Are you ready? It's Mooncake from Final Space. And he's eating a cookie and he looks so cute. Now, it says on the back, Destroy Your Head Comics 2018 by Poldo. So I'm guessing that's the artist, obviously. Poldo, and he did sign it for me while I was there. But I thought this was adorable. I had to get this. This was $20. Um, so worth it. I absolutely love it. I don't know where I'm going to put it, but come on, it's Mooncake. I also forgot to mention that I believe the bows and the bro uh, brooches were $15 each. Maybe the bow was 10. I know the brooches were definitely 15. So yeah, I forgot to mention that as well. All right, and that's it. That's it for my haul. Like I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine items, maybe 10, maybe I miscounted down here. Not a whole lot, but like enough. And I had so much fun walking around the con floor, seeing what was there, um, getting stopped by people who did recognize me. That's always, that's always amazing because I didn't think anyone would recognize me in this cosplay. Um, and yeah, that's basically it for my whole video. I'm hoping I will try to film some of the con tomorrow. Um, but I think tomorrow, instead of going as pink PJs Anastasia, I might go as her orphan character because I haven't really cosplayed as her much, whereas I have attended a con in my pink PJs. Um, and yeah, I'll try and take some photos of some amazing cosplayers tomorrow. Um, hopefully get some photos of Thornley as Spider-Man. I'm not gonna go like inside tomorrow, I don't think. Um, we're just gonna kind of do like a hallway con kind of thing. And yeah, take some photos and just, just have fun. Uh, go to South Bank, maybe explore South Bank a bit. And yeah, I'm rambling now, so I'm gonna end the video. Again, thank you so much for watching it. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up. Let me know down below in the comments what your favorite item was from this haul. Thanks again for watching. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.